Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Kushner. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the landscape in Sketchbook. So if you click Sketchbook, um, right at the top left, you can click New Sketch. And uh, when you look at the presets over here, I pick screen resolution, so it's the same size as a screen. There you go. And create. And I'm gonna go ahead and discard my sketch that I was not using. And then when I start, I like to pinch in my fingers. So we'll start there. Now we were talking about using a watercolor brush. And if you actually go, I'm just gonna pick one of these brushes over here, the airbrush. Um, I can actually just click over here. Um, and if I go to my library, there's all the different choices. So there's a basic paintbrush here. If I click that, that's the coarse watercolor. Um, this is like more of a more painterly brush. So you can use one of those. Um, or if you scroll down, there's all these different synthetic paint brushes. So um, for today, just to show you, the synthetic paint will be more like an oil paint brush. And then uh, this brush up here, the coarse watercolor, we'll use for our watercolor. So thinking about my sky, when I, when I click my color over here, I'm just looking for a blue sky. And um, I can change the size of my brush, of course. Um, I have like a slider here, bigger, smaller. Kind of see what it will look like. That's a good one. Um, and I'm just kind of painting it in. And just to show you, if you click on my color right now, um, I've got all these different options down here. Um, so just to show you, like, um, when I when I click on my brush here and I go to settings, right now the opacity is 39%. If I bring it up to 100%, it's going to be a lot darker. And I can change the size here as well. And you can see my sliders moving when I do that. Um, so if you wanted it to be a little bit more, you kind of see the difference, right? Um, and if I want to blend it together, right now that's not really blending on its own. So I can go down, it's a third tool from the bottom on the left side, looks like that. Um, and this is just going to blend it out. This is going to make it super smooth. Uh, so if you like that like super blended look, you know, and like everything else, you can decide the flow of this, like how much it blends, how strong it is, how big it is. Um, so if I wanted to go back, I can kind of go between these brushes, right? I can go back and grab some dark blues and then I can go back and smudge them out. And you can see I, I changed the settings and now it's like really smudgy. It's like super wet paint. Um, I think that looks a little too intense for a sky. So I'm gonna bring my flow way down and the strength way down. And I'm actually gonna bring my brush size a little bit bigger. And now when I blend, it's a little bit lighter there, a little bit smoother, right? So just starting with that, you know, if you smooth it right into the white, it's really nice too. All right, so once I've got that, just my basic background here for my landscape, I can click this little lock. If I look at my layer here, there's a lock right there. If I lock it, it means I can't touch it. I can't draw on it anymore. And now I'm gonna press the plus sign and make a new layer. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and change my color. So if we're doing a spring landscape, I might do like a dark green here. Um, and again, I'm on my watercolor brush and um, I think I was telling you some, some different options. If I go back to library, let me go down here and I'll just show you some of these synthetic paint. Um, you can see like it starts blending a lot, right? So that's what's different about this. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lay it on really thick and I wanna determine my shape here if I want it to be kind of like a hill. All right, and you can see just like a true oil brush is starting to blend. So I wanna put it on pretty thick and heavy um, if I don't want it to blend and I might go and just pop the size up a little bit more. And if I want to um, get some values like we've talked about in the past here, um, I can go ahead and click on it and get some darks in there and say, all right, this area of the hill is gonna be darker. Maybe over here, it's gonna get a little darker. And then I can go over here and maybe I'll grab a lighter value. All right, and then I might go back to my blender and kind of blend that off, right? And you can see it's really blending a lot. So you can kind of just decide what kind of look if you want it really soft like that. And again, maybe I change my size, maybe I change the flow. And your goal is really just to experiment. How do you want this landscape to look? All right, I like how it's getting kind of lighter towards the top. I think I would bring some more darks into the bottom. And I'll go back to my paintbrush to bring in some of those darker values there. And then back to my blender. So I'm really just going back and forth to kind of 
smooth these out and bring it together. And then we've got our landscape set up. So once you're done, you can go ahead and save your image like that. If you want to go up to the top left and you're going to go to share and I'm going to say save image and that'll go to my camera roll now and then I can go ahead and upload it to Google Classroom. Enjoy.